Hello YouTube, this is Jeff Benyon and I recently built a rain room in my studio. And I took a couple days, did a couple of test shoots, and I wanted to figure out what are the best settings for shooting in a rain room. And particularly I wanted to look at freezing motion and getting the water droplets to stop and whether that is a good idea or not. So let me talk about what it means to freeze motion. When you are shooting something that's moving fast, like raindrops for example, you need to shoot generally at a really high shutter speed or else you'll get motion blur. Now another way that you can achieve this is by using flash. So if you were to shoot these raindrops at one eight thousandth of a second or one ten thousandth of a second if you had a camera that would allow you to do that you would get the frozen drops really crisp and you wouldn't get any motion blur now if you were to set your camera to one eight thousandth of a second it would be really really underexposed so if you use flash what happens with a flash is you can set your camera settings for a normal exposure and it floods the scene with ultra bright light at one ten thousandth of a second or one eight thousandth of a second and in that moment it captures and freezes motion so when you use flash you're able to freeze motion or stop motion and still keep your scene uh, properly exposed and it's a lot easier to use flash than it is to set your camera to one eight thousandth of a second where your picture would be extremely dark now let me show you some of these pictures and I have the camera settings right here on the image so you can see the shutter speed and the effect that that has on the motion blur on the rain. So this first one is at 1 250th of a second. And then we get higher up to 1 800th of a second and 1 1000th of a second. This is one sixteen hundredth of a second and you can see there's still some motion blur but part of that is because I'm shooting at a shallow depth of field and the focus is on the model and if you look at these raindrops over to the right or the raindrops that are closer to the model you can see that those are a little bit more crisp. And then at one two thousandth of a second you can see you've got still some motion blur but you've got relatively crisp raindrops frozen in the middle of the air. So now the problem with freezing raindrops is that it doesn't look natural. And if you look at any video of rain or if you even look outside the window when it's raining, you don't see these zero gravity frozen drops floating in the sky. It doesn't make sense. It, and what I found is I like to have a little bit of motion blur in the rain in order to make it look actually like rain and not like someone opened a champagne bottle on a zero gravity moon base. So if you slow your shutter speed way down, this is 1 40th of a second and then we get a little bit faster. Here's 1 60th of a second and I found that 1 60th of a second is what I like the most. I think that looks the most visually appealing and that has the right amount of motion blur for my preference. And here is on the other end of the spectrum if we go way down to 1 25th of a second you get significant motion blur and those drips of rain are much brighter and it's also a very cool artistic effect. The problem is that shooting and freezing rain is something that's technically tricky. You have to have the right gear to do it, you have to have everything set up right, and because it's technically tricky, uh, photographers think that that's the right way to go, and that's the only way to go, and that's the way to achieve some photographic zen by doing something that's technically tricky. But just because it's technically tricky doesn't mean that it's visually appealing, and it doesn't mean that it makes any sense at all. So I would say 
take a look at these different settings here anywhere from 1 25th of a second all the way up to 1 2000th of a second personally i like a little bit of motion blur in it and i think the frozen raindrops most of the time looks really stupid and unnatural let me know what you think in the comments and let me know if you have any other questions about shooting in the rain or freezing motion